I'm going to show you some helpful tips for using the left, right, up and down arrow keys on your keyboard to speed up your editing workflow. So let's click on the timeline here to make this active. Now if I tap on the right arrow key, if you notice the time's at zero. By tapping on the right arrow key, it's going to move the playhead forward one frame at a time. And if I tap on the left arrow key, you guessed it, it's going to move it back to the left one frame at a time. Well, if you press the shift key and tap on the right arrow key and watch the timer there, you'll see that it's moving the playhead forward five frames per second. So hold the shift key, press on the right arrow key to move ahead five frames per second. And the same holds true if you tap on the left arrow key with the shift key pressed. It's going to move you backwards in time. 5 frames per second. Okay, the left and right arrow keys are great, but now let's look at the up and down arrow keys, because this is where the real magic is. For that, I'm going to go into full screen mode, so here's a little bonus tip. If you want to take any of these panels that you have highlighted into full screen mode so you can get more workspace, just tap on the tiled key, or it's also called the back quote key. It's in the upper left corner, right below the escape key, right next to the number one key, right above the tab key. Tap on the tiled key and boom, you go into full screen mode, so you get a lot of real estate here on your screen. If you press the down arrow key, it's going to move the playhead forward in time. And if you use the up arrow key, it's going to go in the reverse direction and go back in time. What's great about the up and down arrow keys is that it only stops where there's an edit or a cut point. So wherever you make, if you use the razor tool and make a cut here, those are the only places it's going to stop. So you don't have to rely on dragging your playhead and trying to get it in the perfect spot. You just use the up and down arrow keys, it'll go right to an edit point. So the key to using the up and down arrow keys is knowing where it's actually jumping to. So when I tap on the down arrow key, where is it actually jumping to? Because you see right here, there's actually not a cut on this track. So, why did it stop there? Well, you need to look over here. These tracks that are highlighted right here, this is called targeting track. So currently, when you're using the up and down arrow keys, it is only looking at V4, the track that's highlighted right here, in a one, this audio track. So, wherever there's a cut on either one of these tracks is the only place it's going to stop. So, if you just want to focus on one track, target the track, use the down arrow key, it will go through every single cut on that track. Use the up arrow key, it will reverse the track. If you don't want to deal with the targeting track and you just want to go through all of your edits, hold the shift key, press the down arrow key. Now by holding the shift key, it's going to stop at every single cut throughout your timeline. It's going to completely ignore all these targeted tracks over here and just stop at every single cut track. So hold the shift key, press the down arrow key, and it's going to stop at every time there's a cut. Hold the up arrow key with the shift key. It's going to go reverse in time and stop at every time there's an edit point. So that is your quick tip, how to use the arrow keys in Premiere Pro.